Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Syar Amin bin Ilham. I want to share with you about railway named Nagoya to Shinkansen in Japan. This is mega project because that train is the fastest train in the world which can get 500 km per hour. This train is used magnetic levitation train which magnetic levitation is generated by two electromagnet. Interaction between Twin the magnet create a magnetic force that compensate the gravity and allow levitation which can produce speed for train. This project will connect Shinagawa Station in Tokyo and Nagoya which is can cover the distance of 286 km in just 40 minutes. Then if this project is fully success, it will extend by cover 153 km from Nagoya to Osaka. Uh, 86% from this rail is underground. This project is expected fully success in 2027. Thank you. Introducing to you London Cross Rail or known as Elizabeth Line. This project has become the biggest addition to London transportation network with a worth of 22 billion US dollar. Holding the record of Europe's largest infrastructure project Elizabeth Line will be operated along west to east by crossing London with distance of 117 km long. A 42 km of new tunnels were built with the usage of 65 brand new trains which comes with luggage, wheelchair and Wi-Fi facilities inside it. There is also 9 new stations built along the Elizabeth Line route to connect all the stations. Elizabeth Line will split to two branch after the conjunction of Whitechapel Station, which leads to Shedfield and Abbey Wood. This project are expected to transport more than 200 million people per year. Elizabeth Line could transform London and beyond for generations to come. Riyadh Metro, one of the mega project in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, metro rail system, which is construction started on April 2014 and expected completion on 2020. Line 1, the blue line, will run from Olaya Street to Al Hayat Road. Line 2, the red line, will connect King Abdullah Road to King Fahad Stadium. Line 3, orange line, will run from Madinah Al Munawara to Rahman Al Awar Road. Line 4, yellow line, will connect from King Khalid International Airport to the new King Abdullah Financial District. Line 5, the Green Line, will connect from King Abdul Aziz Road. And Line 6, Purple Line, will start at King Abdullah Financial District and end at Prince Sa'an Ibn Ar-Rahman Al Awal Road. This project have three major stations. Number one, Olaya Metro Station, which is located at the intersection of Line 1 and Line 2, will feature a public plaza and large entrance hall. Number two, Downtown Station or Kasar Al Hook, which is the station constructed between Marina Al Munawara Street and King Faisal Street. The station will act as the transport hub of Line 1 and Line 2. And number three, King Abdullah Financial District Metro Station will serve Line 1, Line 4 and Line 6. And the most important things, the renewable energy will be used to provide power for all the metro station. One of the challenges that might happen is the geographical factor of some real site. This is due to some area such as hilly area and swamp area that requires additional work on it. Next is to ensure a safety and clean environment in public areas. This is because it requires a good care and safety precaution in working areas to prevent any cause of damage to public especially in the town. Other than that is labor shortages. Due to its status as a mega project, it requires a lot of professional and unskilled workers to ensure the project comes to its completion and prevent any delay in completing the project. The common environmental impact from the rail's construction is it can reduce a lack of carbon monoxide which release from the car which can increase the thick ozone layer and save the earth. Then, it can give impact for the flora and fauna that will be destroyed by the construction and take a long time to recover. 
Rails is one of the main transportation that can give a lot of benefits especially in economy sector. Low cost and easy to use will attract society to use rails than car which it provide high returns from this project for a long term. In addition, the construction of this rail will also provide many job opportunities to the community which help improve the economic status especially the unemployed. Furthermore, these rails are also capable of increasing transportation opportunities such as allow people to choose what transport they need based on their time and money flexibility. One of the criteria and aspects they need to consider is target location of this project with higher parity. To ensure a constant user of this rail, it requires the project to be located at strategic places with high and continuous consumer such as town and developed area. Next is the expectation of return to the country's economy and society in a long-term effect. A preliminary studies on cost and risk is highly required in this mega project as it will provide benefits to the community and also providing continuous income to the country in the long term due to ensure a lot of money invested in this project are worth enough. Last but not least, considering in minimizing the usage of flora and fauna areas, to preserve a good and healthy environment, it is advised to reuse the existing area to prevent any deforestation.